Microsoft Copilot, finally available to everybody. You won't have to make a presentation any longer. Copilot will do that for you. Is it really true? What is Microsoft Copilot first and foremost? Microsoft Copilot is the result of the integration of OpenAI and ChatGPT brain into the Office package within the Microsoft ecosystem, which basically means that you will find Microsoft Copilot available in your PowerPoint to make your presentations, in your Excel to make your calculations, in your Outlook to write, summarize your emails and manage your appointments, as well as in Teams to sum up the meetings, highlight the action items, for example, and give you suggestions on what has to be done. Microsoft Copilot, furthermore, it's integrated and operates within the perimeter of the corporate SharePoint, which means that it handles your data safe. That is the main concern that was raised with the, the roll, rollout of ChatGPT, because these LLM, large language models, are trained with our own data. And that's why corporate said no, and they put a big stop to the integration and implementation of these tools. But with Microsoft Copilot, all your data, your corporate data are safely managed within your organization. Therefore, it will operate on your SharePoint data. It will not train the model with your company data and it will save you a huge lot of time. It's time to test it out. Let's launch PowerPoint and try it together. Come with me. Okay, let's test Copilot straight from the beginning. Here it is the icon. You will find it in the ribbon in PowerPoint. You can add it to the, your quick access toolbar, which will make it easier to get. If you don't know what is the quick access toolbar, just watch my video and you will see how to save a lot of time. Copilot comes uh, into the sidebar. It's very intuitive. You can type what you want, uh, and there are even some prompts that are pre-made, ready for you to be used. Create a presentation from file, add a slide. Um, these are uh, pre-made prompts for you. You can type, it goes straight away into the chat. You can select the file you want, uh, and uh, it will be up to speed. Of course, it's using the files straight from your SharePoint. Therefore, it is important to have the file uploaded online. And yes, this is a limitation of Copilot because it doesn't let you upload files the way you like, uh, browsing them on your desktop. Here we go. That is the result. As you can see, it is uh, summarizing uh, my article into a bullet point, and uh, you can clearly tell from the answer that he understood the article. So these are the main sections of the article. I like the answer. It works quite well. Now it's loading up to the 100%. And yes, so the first part of the work is done. It summarized and understood the article and created a draft from which now is creating the speaker notes. Wow, the speaker notes. And then from the speaker notes is going to create the slide. Now let's go and analyze the speaker notes. Okay, here we have some notes. Okay, not that bad. Uh, watch out because the contents might not be correct. Okay, this is the agenda. These are the speaker notes of the agenda. A simple synthesis of the agenda, nothing special. Um, let's see in the in the uh, next slides. Okay, some contents, L a little speech here, not that bad. It's already organized in a way that actually makes sense. Okay, if I read this uh, little part of the speaker notes in this presentation, we will discuss how to hook your audience from the very first slide. Did you know that 90% of your audience is lost within the fi first five minutes. We will explore ways to keep them engaged and attentive throughout your presentation. Okay, very interesting, it understood, and uh, it's um, producing relevant speaker notes. From a graphic standpoint, uh, it is acceptable. I would say it's not that bad. Of course, you know, this would be a very first draft. Uh, this can't be uh, the final presentation, the branding is completely invented. However, if we enter the Slide Master, we can see that it produced proper layouts that work consistently within the Slide Master using the right placeholders and uh, created the right template. 
Also in terms of storytelling, I have to say it's absolutely relevant. It created an introduction, an agenda, and then uh, it's working with uh, giving the context to the audience uh, that was clearly took from the article. And then it starts mentioning the different techniques. Uh, this is an article that talks about hooking techniques. So here it's summarizing all the techniques, uh, extracting some uh, cool uh, tips and tricks from the article itself need to be fixed because otherwise they go on a new line. The input is absolutely very important. We need to be careful all the kind of input that we give to this tool, but we also need to be careful about the output that we get. Do not just copy paste or send this presentation by email. It's important to read, scroll, analyze the presentation and see that everything is worked out properly. Uh, uh, this presentation uh, is uh, made by 33 slides and now it's suggesting me to use a designer to customize these uh, slides. The designer suggests me some design ideas, uh, not that I specifically love them because they're very basic and they rarely take into account uh, the real user experience you need for your audience at a specific moment in time. However, as you can see, it's cool because it even creates icons sometimes. Oh, well, that is a smart art not that bad. We can ungroup it and customize it. Let me try with these icons because I can, you know, ungroup the icon. But yeah, no, well, these icons are, uh, yeah, they're not scalable vector graphics. Therefore, I cannot apply a color to them. I might not like the picture, so I'm going ask Copilot to change the picture. Let's try. Change the picture, this line with, uh, for example, a more relevant or impactful and emotional one. I will specify, make sure the picture is bigger. Let's see what Copilot can produce. Okay, it's becoming very lazy, selling me to just go and choose the picture myself. Let's try to push it. No, you add a picture to this slide. The picture is huge, but we don't like it. It's not relevant. It's overlapped. Let's push it a little bit more. Complete this slide with a relevant picture. This picture is absolutely not relevant and uh, it is not really completing the slide itself. Losing points, Copilot, here. Okay, let's try highlight the keywords in the text. So let's see if it can uh, create keywords highlight. This is something I spend a lot of time on every time. I work on my text and my copywriting. Maybe in this case, it can easily be done with Copilot. Yes, the output is not that bad. So it caught some keywords and uh, it highlighted in uh, by bolding them, which is very cool. Let's see if I can change the color of the keywords. Hmm. No, this doesn't really work. It's telling me to do it myself. That was too much. <laughs> Maybe too ambitious for Copilot for now. Okay, watch out because uh, um, Control D undo doesn't really work with Copilot. So if you do something, then uh, you need to make sure that you uh, have a copy of the presentation. This is a library of prompts. You don't know what to do with uh, Copilot uh, or how to use it properly. More, re more relevant, uh, you can access the library. For example, this is add an agenda, but we already have an agenda. I'm not going to use it, add a slide. Not that bad, interesting, um, general ideas. Organize your thoughts, stay on track. Okay, let's try, create a presentation about how to, and we create a presentation from scratch. For example, I could create a presentation about the Lean Presentation Design methodology and let Copilot source information on the web and then create the presentation itself. That is very cool. It's telling me that if I don't save it, I will lose it because Copilot overrides the current PowerPoint. So I will skip it. I don't care about this draft that we created. And then we create a new draft. Okay, Copilot created something about the presentation design. So watch out because it even did the research it's 
itself. It didn't source information from something that I gave it. It probably went online or maybe these are pre-trained data. And if you can see there is an introduction, it's talking about myself, uh, which is good because it means it understood so the information are relevant. The picture, well, the pictures I don't find them very relevant or very much fitting with what we need to do. So let's try to replace the picture with some books of mine. Let's see if it can go browse and source the pictures of my own books. So we have a bookshelf. I like it, not that bad, but these are not my books. This test is failed. Finally, the conclusions. Okay. Let's try to make it highlight the keywords again. So make keyword highlighted in red color. So this time we go straight away with uh, a color. Let's see if it, if it works. Okay, not that bad. It works. So the cool thing is that if I use the color straight from the beginning, it works. Now let's go and create, for example, an agenda slide for this presentation because we don't have it. I prompt Copilot to do so. Okay, cool. There we go, agenda slide. Okay. Nice. And now we try to replace the bullet point uh, with uh, vector icons. And I will specify that I would like to have one icon per chapter. And there we go, lazy. Mm, no, it didn't work. So not good, it's not working. Uh, that's not replacing the bullet with the icons. So in this case, I will just do that myself from the MLC graphic library. We have access to 12 millions of icons. I will leave you a video how to do that. So Copilot is not really making it. I will try to be a little bit more generic. I just want you to use icons to enhance the message in the, the agenda. Okay, no, it doesn't work. Okay, guys, it doesn't work. We move on. Okay, let's take some other prompt. Extract key information. This seems very interesting to me. You can have Copilot summarize the key points for you. That is not bad at all. Well, you can do that with ChatGPT as well. Just upload the document, but Copilot does it straight away in PowerPoint. You see, here's the summary of the deck. And on these kind of things, it works pretty well. Maybe on pictures is not the best, but on summarizing text is very, very good. Okay, now let's try if it is able to create a hooking strategy that captivates and attracts the audience's attention straight from the beginning. Okay, well, it created something, but um, in terms of graphics, it made a disaster. This is a complete overlapping of plenty of messages on the slide. If you read it, it actually makes sense, but graphically speaking, it's a disaster. Add one initial slide in which you attract the attention of the audience, for example, by surprising them uh, with uh, a key stat. So let's give it a hooking strategy straight away. Let's see if it can start from the hooking strategy that we're giving it and if it can uh, rework on it. Okay, well, it created something. It's not bad, but it's not relevant. So yes, it used the stats, 306 billion emails, but we're not talking about emails, so it's not really relevant. Let's try to make it more relevant. Not really working. Now I will be a bit more generic, make it about lean presentation design and make sure it conquers the audience's attention. So in this case, I'm generalizing a little bit the prompt to see if that works. We have a hooking, uh, which is not that bad. It helps to keep your audience engaged and focus on the key points you want to convey. Okay, but it didn't use any stat. It didn't learn from the past steps. So something was created, but this is not very effective as it could have been. We can access the library of prompts straight away from PowerPoint. I'm using Edge because I can, as you can see, open Copilot in this sidebar and everybody has the web version, but once you buy the license, you will actually activate the work version. Now the web version works through the precise mode. The precise mode is uh, using the APIs of GPT-4. So my recommendation is always use the precise mode. The work version, it's uh, the same sidebar. Here you can interact with it. You can upload it files. And of course it's much more relevant the moment you can upload files because you can make it work on your own files. 
Okay, let's run through the conclusions. What do you think about Microsoft Copilot? Right now, I believe it is a very powerful tool looking forward. For sure, it can save you a lot of time summarizing 150 slides presentation. You don't want to read. You just type, summarize it for me, key points, action points, and tell me what I have to talk about. And it will do. It will write for you a good work in progress document, a good draft of the document. It will also prepare speaker notes for you. But if I look at it as part of my AI portfolio tools, and I, guys, I use all of them from GPT to Claude, uh, sometimes even Bard, if I'm looking on for something on Google, um, for sure Copilot, the web edition is more than enough. I can tell you Copilot on PowerPoint right now, it's not something I really use. It is not necessary, even though I believe that the ambition for sure might change the way we make presentations in the future. Nowadays, my best recommendation is make sure you know how to use it. Make sure to keep track of the updates because it's not going to be the AI to seal our jobs, at least in the short run. But for sure, somebody who uses AI better than us, it's uh, a competitor we need to take care of. I will test Copilot also on other applications. If you have any questions, if you have any recommendations on features that you really liked, leave a comment and I'd be happy to engage in a conversation about it. Make great presentations. I wish you all the best. Cheers.